<laughs> What's going on everybody? We're back with Jake Makes Everything. Uh, we're going to do another pasta dish today because everyone seemed to really love the chicken alfredo and the vibes are low and this is a really quick and easy um, recipe to get done. We can knock it out in about 30-35 minutes. So what, we've, what I've already gone ahead and done before is I went ahead and got about a pound of mushrooms, sauteed them in some butter and some garlic. And then I also grilled some chicken. These are uh, butterfly chicken breasts, and I had some Italian seasoning on there. I'll probably drop that in the, um, in the recipe down below. So now I've got my pasta water heating up. Um, we are using Cilianti, even though I call it cavatappi. Uh, we're using Cilianti, and then um, I'm heating up our Dutch oven right now. We're gonna have um, our whole, up, whole chopped onion in there. We're gonna add a little bit of tomato paste. We're also gonna add some crushed garlic. This is um, like a ripoff of a restaurant I work at. They call it um, Rigatoni Martino. So we're gonna call it Cavatappi Martino, but it's pretty much just a um, tomato vodka cream sauce with sun-dried tomatoes and the mushrooms. And then I'm gonna to top it with some chicken. It's gonna be delicious. So as soon as my pasta water gets a little bit more boiling and the pan heats up, we'll get cooking. All right, so our pan's heating up, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna sweat down these onions. So if you have olive oil, use olive oil. We're using canola oil, just because we're broke college kids. You just wanna pour enough just to coat the bottom. We're gonna take our one whole finely chopped um, yellow onion. We're gonna pop that in the pan. No sizzle, that's a F from me. So we're gonna turn the heat up a little bit. Maybe turn it up a lot of bit. You don't need that anymore. And then we're gonna take some of our minced garlic. I've said before that if you can chop your own garlic, go ahead and do it, but saves time and energy right here. There's that sizzle, now I can hear it. And this is about, I don't know, we'll call that three cloves. A nice little teaspoon of the garlic. And then you're gonna sweat those down five, six minutes just until the onions are translucent. Till about you start getting stuff fragrant. And then we're gonna add our crushed tomatoes and our tomato paste. So five, set, five, six, seven minutes from now, we'll check back up and then we'll get this uh, vodka sauce going. All right, so if you can come on in here, you can get a peek. They've been going for a little bit. You see how some of them got golden brown edges, nice and translucent. Looking good to me, smelling good. So now we're gonna go ahead and add, um, it says four and a half ounces. This is just regular tomato paste. So we're gonna add, this is a six ounce can, so we're just gonna add almost all of it. Tomato paste, and then this is just a can of crushed tomatoes. And I'm gonna add maybe a third to a quarter cup of this guy. Right there. And then same drill. We're gonna sweat these down, get these flavors introduced to each other. It's gonna be like another five, six minutes of sweating this down, and then we'll be back for the next step. All right, so we've let the tomato paste and the crushed tomatoes go, and take a look right here. Y'all might be saying, oh my God, Jake, you burnt the sauce. How are you gonna eat that? It's burnt. Nah. Now we're about to deglaze with some old, see the old Svenka, the old Friday night special. So let me get this spatula out of here. The recipe calls for two ounces, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. So here we go. Spedka in. That looks good to me. A little for the chef. <laughs> and now that the Svedka's in, we're gonna stir it around. We're gonna deglaze. And all that brown stuff on the bottom is gonna come up as it deglazes. And that'll take another five, six minutes, and you gotta let the alcohol completely cook off or else it's gonna taste nasty. So we're gonna let that cook off, give it four or five minutes, and then we're gonna come back, we're gonna add the cream and some other ingredients. That Svetka's got me seeing stars, boy. <laughs> all right, so all the vodka's been cooked off, and we have our pot of salted boiling water. So this is probably the only challenging step, is that you're gonna take about a quarter cup of the um, boiling water, and then you're gonna add three quarter cups of heavy cream. And if you can do that quick math, ladies and gentlemen, that equals one cup. If I can get this open. 
We're one take here, ladies and gentlemen, we're one take. And apparently the reason that you do this is so you don't curdle the cream or curdle the milk. I really don't understand it, but we're gonna do what the, what the recipe says. So pour it into there. This is 16, so I used about half of it. So that's a cup. Now we're going to do is add that to our sauce. I, uh, what's it called? Reduce the heat to low. So we're gonna give you a nice little stir in. We're gonna see what that looks like when everybody gets incorporated. Oh yeah, we're getting that nice orange rosy color out of it. Oh, look at that. So that is going to chill out by itself until the sauce thickens up. You can stir it occasionally, the heat's on low, so it's pretty much good to go right now. So we're just missing a couple key ingredients. So I'm gonna let that hang out. We're going to add our box of pasta to our water. And then uh, follow the instructions on your box. This just says for al dente, boil for 11 minutes, but you can always double check, triple check, because everyone's water boils differently. So then when we come back, we should have our pasta done. Our sauce should be nice and developed. And then all we're gonna be doing is chopping up some fresh basil adding the mushrooms and the sun-dried tomatoes, and then I'm gonna chop up some chicken, and then we'll plate, so I'll see you in a few. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. We've got everything pretty much ready to go. So the sauce has been hanging out. I'm gonna add our sauteed mushrooms. Delicious. Then I'm going to add a generous helping of our sun-dried tomatoes. <coughs> I'm gonna sprinkle probably about half as much as the tomatoes to the mushroom ratio. Beautiful. And then I uh, went ahead and drained almost all the pasta water. We got our pasta with just a little bit of water in there. So we'll go ahead and toss everybody into the pond. And we're gonna give this guy a stir. Go ahead and use this guy. Give him a stir. Oh, it smells just so fantastic right now get everybody incorporated into the sauce. Oh yeah. All right, so the heat right now is still on low. So technically everything is still cooking. So while I'm stirring it, I'll probably stir it for um, a minute here. And then I'm going to add the Parmesan cheese to it. If you have fresh grated, absolutely go ahead and use fresh grated because you know fresh is better than everything. It makes everything better. And then we're going to have the um, chicken in the oven right now. All I did was grill it, slice it up, and now I'm just reheating it for um, plating. So pasta is looking absolutely delicious. Smells fantastic. I wish y'all were here to smell it. So now that it looks pretty well incorporated, go ahead and turn that off. And then we're gonna use um, almost all of our cheese. This is Five ounces of cheese, so we'll use almost all of it and then just save a little bit at the end just to top it with. So we're gonna add the cheese. And since the heat is off, the, re the residual heat will help melt the cheese, but it's not gonna burn and get all, get all nasty. So stir the cheese in there. Oh my God, that looks so good. Looking like a whole ass meal up in here. Mm, Olive Garden who? Don't need them, never heard of them. All right, so I'm gonna stir this until the cheese looks nice and incorporated, and then I'm gonna let the chicken heat up for another five, six minutes, so when you come back, it'll be time to plate. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. The cheese is nice and melty. All the flavors have been getting to know each other. The chicken's hot, it's time to plate. So I'm gonna give him a nice scoop. Oh yeah, we'll give him two scoops, because he said he's hungry. Nice two scoopage and then I'm gonna go ahead and just plate it with some chicken make it look all purdy like you can always get more chicken if he wants let's give him a couple more there we go we're gonna toss with some cheese gorgeous and then the piece de resistance some fresh chopped basil right over the top. Boom, call me Emerald Lagasse. And that, ladies and gentlemen, 
is your Cavatappi Martino. So go ahead, leave a like, leave a share, share with your friends, send it to your mom, send me to your mom, send me your mom's number, um, and then I'll see you guys next week for next week's post.